What's up guys, John Thomas here from simpleprogrammer.com. And today I'm actually making a new video because I'm going to review the BenQ RD28 OU monitor. And it's uh, it's actually pretty cool. They sent me a sample monitor to check it out because it's a programming monitor. I'd never heard of a programming monitor before. And so I thought, okay, sure, I'll check this out. It seems pretty interesting. I know that when I was writing a lot of code that I definitely was pretty picky with the monitors and it definitely makes a difference what kind of monitor that you get. So anyway, this monitor is a 28.2 inch uh, 4K monitor. So it's actually uh, ultra high definition and the resolution on it's 3840 by 2560. So that's really actually pretty cool because if you've used one of the kind of standard monitors, the 16 by nine ratio monitors that tend to be popular today, uh, it really cuts off at the bottom. You know, you've got this length on it, which is not as useful for coding and you want to see more lines of code. So it's it's actually better if you have it longer. Um, and, and then this particular monitor, actually the way that I'm using it, uh, even though I'm not really coding with it so much anymore, is I have it in a actually a vertical orientation where I've rotated it using the, they have a nice ergonomic arm on there. So I was able to rotate it and it works really well in, in that configuration. I'm, I'm very impressed with it. It's, uh, it, you know, it, it's not my main monitor since I've got a widescreen monitor, but I put it to the side there. And so I've got kind of a four monitor set up here, but it, uh, it works really well for documents, uh, if I am looking at some code, just anything that I'm gonna scroll down long, but it, it's not too thin either, which is, which is good. And it's super easy to rotate the screen, which uh, which was really nice. It's a really hardy monitor. The other thing about this monitor, I think that's great for coding, is that it's a matte finish. So, you know, <laughs> most displays are glossy today. So this one is actually matte. And so there's not much for reflection, especially if you've got a lot of light if you like to sit by a window or something like that, you don't end up having that glare, which is really quite nice. And then it's got a bunch of features that really make it useful for programming. So one of the main ones is it's got a dark mode and a light mode that are sort of designed to set the settings on the monitor to make it so that when you're in dark mode in your IDE, that text pops is very readable. And the same thing with light mode, which is, is really nice. Plus you can have a user configuration where you have, you can set your own settings and you can cycle through them very quickly on the monitor, which is, is nice. It also has a bunch of features to really reduce your eye strain. Now it's not something that I particularly struggled with that much, but if you do, it's definitely something that you should really consider, especially if you're spending a lot of time just looking at a single monitor. Uh, you know, one of the big things that they have is uh, they, they have this this moon halo feature, which is kind of this light in the background. It's supposed to sort of balance out the light in the room. I'm not sure if that's particularly useful. You know, they say, you know, during a late night coding session, uh, it creates an immersive work atmosphere. So I, I get that. It, it's, it's just kind of a, a cool feature and it auto can increase the brightness and color temperature of it, which is, which is pretty cool and auto dim. But I think the bigger uh, feature that it has is that it's got this uh, BI Gen 2, which is essentially this adaptive brightness technology so that it can detect the, the, you know, the light levels in the room and it can bring down the brightness on the monitor so that if it's really dark in the room, it's not really straining your eyes to look at it. Okay, it also has this night hours protection, which uh, will kick in to uh, dim the, the monitor so that it, which is, is kind of part of that that technology so that it's not only controlling the brightness, but it can also lower the, the blue light levels, which you can customize on the monitor. It also has an eye reminder so that if you are looking at it too long, it will sort of give a, a notification for you, which you can turn on obviously or, or off and, and it's flicker free. So that's really, you know, the, the kind of things that I think make this ideal for, for coding uh, when you're, you're staying at a monitor for a very long time. You know, it's something that, you know, you could really have this as your main only monitor. And I think that would be good. I think it is actually big enough to use that. Or if you use two of them, that would probably be ideal. I would probably put one in a landscape or orientation, one in a vertical orientation. And then, you know, it's got a lot of the 
kind of features you would expect at a monitor around this price range, which is, you know, just a little bit north of $600, which is, it's got, you know, display port, connectivity, uh, USB, and uh, in HDMI, of course, but the display port, or actually the, the USB is, is actually pretty cool because you can daisy chain with that. So you can connect multiple monitors with it and it's, uh, it supports 90 watts of power delivery through USB-C. So you can really connect your laptop with it and it can it can power your laptop from there, which is, is pretty cool. And then of course, you know, you can just use one USB-C cable, which is what I'm using to power this whole uh, monitor, which is which is great because everything comes across through there. So uh, that's, you know, really useful. And then also has a KVM switch built in, which again is, is pretty useful if you have multiple computer systems that you're utilizing. I, I haven't utilized that in, in quite some time, but uh, but yeah, it's it's a really cool monitor. I, I would definitely recommend checking it out. I mean, as far as monitors go, programming monitors, it's you know probably the best one that uh, that that I've seen. You know, I prefer the ultra wide displays today to instead of the dual monitors. Uh, but if I were to do a dual monitor setup, I would probably do two of these, or maybe even one of these. I could conceivably see. Sometimes having so many monitors can be a bit of a pain, and so. It, sometimes it's nice to just have the simplicity of a, of a single monitor, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of mobile work too, where you're on your laptop, because then you sort of handicap yourself where you can't use a, a single monitor anymore. So anyway, check it out and uh, let me know what you think.